Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how we can create one list in Android. So basically, to create one list of items, we can use Recycler View or List View. But Recycler View is preferred because it is uh, better than List View. So, creating one Android Studio project. So you need to click on this Start a New Android Studio project here and we have like different types of uh, activities or different types of starter apps we can create using android studio but i am selecting this empty activity here then i click on next i'll keep it as the same for now i'm clicking on finish then it will start my project so basically few components that we need to keep in mind while creating a recycler view the first one is called layout manager it's a manager that is used to handle the layout of the recycler view so android gives us two different types of layout manager one is called linear layout manager and the another one is called grid layout manager grid layout manager is used for creating grid types of uh, list or recycler view and linear layout manager is used for linear recycler view we can also create our own uh, layout manager but for this example i will use this linear layout manager then the second component is called view holder view holder is responsible for its view in a list or in the recycler view so for its item in the recycler view we have this view holder that this uh, that is responsible for defining how the view should look like what the data we are putting in the view that's these types of things and the third one is called adapter adapter is used for as the manager of the view holder so it actually uh, creates the view holder and binds the data in the uh, in each item of the recycler view this is the adapter so for creating one view holder we need to extend this class recycler view holder and for adapter we need to extend one class that's called recycler view adapter okay so i'll show you an example that will make you clear on these things so the first thing we need to add this in the builder gradle file note that we need to add this in the app level builder gradle file for recycler view go to google and search for recycler view android x then here is the android x releases for recycler view you can copy this line the first line implementation for android x dot recycler view then put it here and you can sync the project and the sync is completed and you can see that i'm running it on this simulator so this is our basic project we have one activity here so the next thing we'll go to this activity layout file main.xml and i'll search for recycler view here recycler view i'll delete this hello world from this activity and i'm adding this recycler view in the activity so i'm adding these constraints for all these directions now if you go here this code then we can give an id for this recycler view id write id so i'm adding this id as recycler view so i can access this recycler view in this main activity here and as i have explained to you that we need one layout manager we need one view holder and we need one adapter so the first thing i'll create some um, items that's data that we want to load in the recycler view for this example i'll load uh, strings 
for each item of the recycler view. Suppose the strings are one, two, three, four. Okay, and the next thing is that I will create uh, variables for recycler view, manager, and adapter. So all these variables are lit in it. The first one is recycler view. It's of type recycler view. The second one is layout manager. So I am being one manager. It's layout manager. Then the third one is adapter. It's adapter, it's recycler view dot adapter and we need to pass the view holder here so I'm passing it as any then in the on create method this method will be called first after this activity is created so here I am creating one this manager variable so as i have explained this manager can be like linear layout manager or grid layout manager or we can create our own manager class for this example i am using linear layout manager manager equal to linear layout manager and we need to pass the context so this activity context i am passing for linear layout manager then i'll create this adapter here for adapter we need to create one class suppose my class name is adapter and we need to pass this data to this adapter what is this adapter so adapter is a manager for the view holder basically it will take the data and it will decide what data we he, we need to pick for which um, this cell of the recycler view then we will initialize the recycler view find view by id i'll get this id this is recycler view r dot id dot recycler view once it is initialized we can apply this manager and adapter for this recycler view. So we'll add the layout manager for this recycler view as the manager and we'll add the adapter for this recycler view. Okay, let me change the name of this adapter. So suppose it is my adapter. As this adapter. So we need one new class for my adapter. I'll go here, Java, and here we can create one new class. Right click new Java class, not Java class, it's right click new Kotlin 5 class. Its class, its name is my adapter. So previously we have learned that for adapter we need to extend it from recycler view dot adapter. Also we are passing the data in the adapter. So here I will take the data as the constructor in the constructor and the data is of type array string array and it will extend from this recycler video adapter we also pass the view holder here so i'll create a new class inside this class inner class that will be the view holder so I am writing it as my adapter dot my view holder. Here I will write my view holder class. 
my view holder view holder class needs to be extended from recycler view dot view holder so i'll write it here as recycler view dot view holder okay this view holder class will decide which uh, item it needs to show for its uh, of this recycler view item so it will pick the item from this data in this area of strings and it will load that item in this uh, cell so it will get one view as its constructor and will create one new fun function bind here inside this view holder so basically we'll call this bind function and this bind function will will pass one string and this string the view holder is set in the cell okay so here you're seeing that one warning message is here this error message if you press alt and enter then it is showing that we need to implement some more functions so these are the functions that we need to add for this view holder adapter class so we need on create view holder we need get item count and we need on bind view holders so these three uh, functions we need to implement the first one is the get items count so it defines how many items we have and this is called by this recycler view manager and it checks like how many items we have so we will return this size of this data that's how much we have we want to show then on create view holder it will be called whenever we create one instance of this view holder class so first thing we need to use one infl inflator class we need to pass the context then we need to inflate one layout that we want to show for each item of the recycler view so currently we don't have any layouts like this so i'll create one new layout here new layout resource file suppose the name is list item i am sending it from constraint layout to linear layout and i'll add one text view here it's match parent uh, it's wrap content this height is wrap content then suppose the text is dummy text we can check it uh, yes and let me change the font size its size text size and suppose it's 20 sp let me increase it more 30 sp okay and one more thing i'll do i'll move this text to the center of this layout so we need to add this gravity here this center then okay this width is wrap content then it is moved to the center of this linear layout so this list item we will uh, use for each cell of the recycler view suppose uh, the id of this text view is id text view list uh, let me add it as list tv okay so i go here and the inflator uh, yeah so this layout dot list item that uh, i'll load it here then second 
let me show you wait second one is parent and the third one is status to root should be false so this is the inflator inflate method this is the view group this is passes the second parameter which view group and attest to root is false so here we will create it as the view we take it as v when we get this view this item view then we'll pass this view to the view holder and we will pass the view holder so our view holder is my view holder i will pass this view to this view holder so this is the view that we will get here this view is this list item okay on create view holder is called then we on bind view holder will be called inside this on bind view holder we will get this view holder that is passed from this on create view holder so what we will do here holder dot bind we will call this method this method bind method and we will pass the text that we want to this view for this position okay for this position we will get the text from this data this area of string so here we will pass this data and the position so this is an array and if we pass this value of this position we will get that uh, string that we want to display so it will call this bind method here then inside this bind method we have this view this view is this this list item view so inside this bind method what i'll do i'll get this text view so view dot find view by id r dot uh, it's of type text view text view so i'll get it as r dot id dot this id is list tv okay list tv it's not imported so click on alt enter and it will be imported then we get this text view so we can assign this text that we are getting here in this bind method this on bind view holder will call this tv dot text equal to text so we are sending this text to this uh, text view so that's all if i run this app then it should show me this four strings let me rerun it okay it's showing here so we have one toolbar here so it's like hiding behind it let me fix that one okay for now let me add one some margin here so let me add 25 dp margin okay so just for this example i'm adding some margin yeah here you can see that one two three four these are loaded suppose let me add some more elements here now if i rerun this app then it will load all these elements in a scrollable view yes so this is the recycler view that loads all these elements okay so that's all for today so you have learned how we can create one simple recycler view this is the basics of recycler view and instead of passing one text we can create some complex list items we can add images we can add videos or any items that we want to add so in our next video i'll show you how we can create more complex recycler view than this okay so thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends bye